Howdy, Andrew here. Today I'd like to teach you how to find the molar mass of potassium sulfide. I've created a nice little table to help us out. Bam, so the first thing I'm gonna do is write the elements down that I see in the compound. So we have potassium and sulfur. Next is then to write down the number of atoms. That's where the subscripts come into play. And if you don't see a subscript, just put in a one there. So we got two potassium, one sulfur. Then we're gonna multiply those number of atoms by the mass of each element, and those masses are found on the table. The periodic table, that is. So here's potassium, 39.1, and here's sulfur, 32.07. So let's write them in. So 39, 39.1, and then sulfur is going to be 32.07. Then we're gonna find the total mass of each element in the compound by simply multiplying this row on across. So that's going to be a total of 78.20 units of mass for potassium, and sulfur here is gonna be 32, 32.07, all right? And then simply add this column up to find the total mass of the entire compound. So the total mass here is going to be 110.27. Since we're solving for molar mass, the units here are in grams per mole. That's all there is to it. Thanks so much for tuning in. Check out our channel, by the way. we got thousands of videos out there, not only in physics. No, well, what, what is this? Is this physics? I don't think it is. Chemistry. Not only in chemistry, but we also, guess what, have physics. Huh. And we have mathematics, and we got bio coming out soon, and we got organic chemistry. All right. We want to help you through your class. We really do. All right. And we're trying to put out as much content as humanly possible. So take a look. All right. We'll see you soon.